All right, welcome back everybody. Um, thanks for joining me. So again, we're going to be playing and continuing playing Night in the Woods tonight to commemorate Yule. Um, so happy Yule and welcome. So let's just get back into it. I hope you're all having a great night and um, I have some juice and I have cookies and hopefully you all have something yummy to eat too. Um, it is the winter solstice, so I think, right, the 21st, today should be the first day of the new... Oh. Thanks for the follows. So yeah, today should be the winter solstice. Let me see. Yes. So we're playing some Night in the Woods. So let's uh, let's get back into the game. Um, we just had the party last night and it went terribly. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Thanks for the follow, everyone. Um, so yeah, let's get back into the game and we'll get back where we left off. She is just waking up. So, all right, let's go, <laughs> hopefully you know, fix the relationships that we destroyed yesterday. So, well, that was a weird one. I feel awful. I probably look awful. Thanks for all of the uh, support, everybody. I appreciate it. I probably look awful. Ugh, I'm gonna burn this room down with me in it. Live out my remaining days as a shrieking ghost. Yep. Okay. Let's make sure that my sound is up. Okay. Perfect. Alright, let's see if we have any instant messages. And I think I need to change my sound. Let's see. All right, let's check our instant messages. Ooh, hey, I don't know who this is. Um, this is me. Sorry about last night. I hope you're feeling okay. Um, yep. I'm at the pickaxe all day. If you wanna stop by, oh, wait, is this B? This, is, this must be B. If you wanna stop by. Shit, I did not do the right voice. I didn't realize that was B. Oh well. Hey, dude. You okay? Last night was... P intense? Pretty intense. Spelled incorrectly. B said you're okay. I'm at Snack Falcon all day. Come by if you're not dead. Sincerely, Gregory. Why did he call himself Gregory, not Greg? Weird. P.S. Ban Jam Litter. O.M.G. The end. Okay, thanks, Greg. No other messages, and I don't feel like playing Demon Tower, so... Let's get going. I think I can look in the mirror one more time. Maybe we should do that. Can I... Can I not? No. Okay. All right. Let's talk to our parents really quick. Great. They're already there. I don't know if this is mom or dad. Um, May. Yeah. Come say hi. Okay. Okay. I will. Oh, shh. Oh, okay. Good. Maybe dad moved this stuff. Nope. All right. We need to ask our father. Bird still has not moved, and I'm convinced it's not alive. It's mommy o Hey, hun. You look like crap. Yep. Rough night. <sighs> Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it. 
I saw Cole at the party in the woods from senior year. Yeah, he was at home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? Kind of, sort of, I don't know. Well, he's a jerk, huh? No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of the town center. Finally! Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines. Great! Hun, I do not... Ugh. Hun, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh, which means you go to jail for it. Psh, they'd never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell her tell you I saw her yesterday out front? <clears throat> really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know. Everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Subi... <laughs> you remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mom, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story 1,000 times. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. What? <laughs> she lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's exactly the kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. <laughs> that's so weird. What an oddly specific issue. So, what are you up to today? I don't know. Gonna go see what Greg and B are up to. You all gonna do something together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much. Past messing around with our old band equipment. Well... There are only so, hours, so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we each have only so much water. Have you ever tried watering a tree? No, God does that. Okay. I'm out. See you later, sweetie. <laughs> That's so contradictory. <laughs> Thought. Become a fire ghost and yell at people. <laughs> Dude, what a cool thought. I want to become a fire ghost and yell at people, too. Sorry for that. I really need some water. I want to become a fire ghost. All right. F the cops. Thought. Never drink again or go in public. Blah, blah. Dumb shit. Blech. Yeah, literally. May, don't drink or go in public. Ever again. Everything feels bad. Aw, poor May. Anything else? Nothing else. Okay. What you reading? Book about a guy who grew up secretly living on a fishing ship. Living in a barrel, eating raw fish, crabs, octopus, squid, lobster, gulls, albatross. Wow! Sharks, dolphins, sea cucumbers, seaweed, sand, rocks. Eating sand and rocks? I don't, I don't think so kelp, but that's the same thing with seaweed, I think. Wow! <laughs> ropes, sails. <laughs> He's eating ropes and sails. One of the boats, the rigging, sailor shoes, sailor hats, sailor pants, sailor shirts, sailor underwear, clean. Wow! Fishing line. <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> Fishing nets, fishing poles. 
geez, he was well fed. Several dugongs. I don't know what that is. And a manatee. Which are different, you know. I did know that. And that's a list of everything he ate. How do you eat a fishing line? That's the one you're going to ask? I could definitely see someone eating fishing line. A whole boat? I did hear back in like, I don't know, years and years ago about someone eating an airplane. And I'm, I'm sure... I don't know. People keep saying that it's true. So maybe it is true, but like... You would have to really cut those up into bite-sized pieces. Like, how do you eat a whole plane? Isn't there fuel included? The fuel will kill you. Not to mention, you can't digest the metals like that. Like, how? I don't know. I don't know. Unless it's like ground up metal, because it's definitely not liquid metal. They're not slurping metal. Because that, that would burn you because it's too hot. Listen, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> the crew thought the boat was haunted. But nope, just the barrel boy. What's the book called? Barrel boy. Oddly enough, I now want fish sticks. I know, right? I'll have your father bring some home. Hey, you know, she's not going to say it, but I'll say it for her. Thanks for, you know, not asking about why I'm home to live with you again. Have a nice day, sweetie. Alright, thanks, Mom. Okay. Oh, everybody, do a big stretch. It's important. Uh, Alright. Why don't you make someone a mod? Made someone a mod? I don't know. I don't quite understand your question, Emily. Sorry. Can you rephrase that? Oh, I thought that mom said these were done. Oh, well. They're not. Um, we're gonna go talk to Greg and B. I'm surprised that B messaged me after... La so last time, we forgot about her mom dying from cancer so I'm really surprised um, hey May hey Selmers did I see you with a journal the other day oh yeah doctor's orders yeah Dr. Hank has me doing one too oh okay did you have anger problems too I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. No wonder you haven't been hired, bruh. Oh, jeez. Make someone a mod of my channel? Oh, a mod? I mean, I would. I don't really have anybody chatting on my channel, so I don't think I really need mods right now. But, um, yeah, once I, once I have, if I get more of a community, I will definitely need mods. So... Yeah. Why? Are you putting in an application? Oh, geez. So, Dr. Hank sees your journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do, though. And I've become a very good poet. Want to hear one? Yeah. Why not? We just heard our mom literally go through... 12 billion things to eat, so. <clears throat> Everyone, listen. My heart is a dankness. <laughs> but when I see you, I feel a thankness. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. Yeah, I, uh, I do have uh, a lot of followers, but I'm not entirely sure if all of those are real, because nobody has stayed to watch or view so yeah we'll see um i just i don't know if i play the kind of games that people really want to watch but that's okay maybe someday wow that's really nice 
When I feel a blueness, all I need is a Eunice. <laughs> that's, that's great poetry right there. That is. That's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh. We're just friends. What did we write? Ta da! It's Selmers, a poet. <laughs> yup. Good job, Selmers. Mr. Chazikov's up on the roof again. Pretty sure he's gonna break his damn neck. Okay, I need to go see him because he told me to come see him. I wonder if I can get up there, though. If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him. Up there on the roof next door. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick which part of him you're going to sue. Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> oh. Let me up there. Sonny boy. Can I get up? Ah. Oh. Okay, I have to figure out how I'm going to get up there because I really, really want to talk to him. Sometimes I get a random boost. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can do it. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to go talk to him about the sky and the stars. Um, I might. What? What happened? All right, let's go back. Something. Something psyched me out. All right, let me up. Uh. Okay. I hope Aunt Malkop doesn't come and grab me. I hope I don't get electrocuted either. That would be really problematic. All right, how do I get up? Oh my gosh, wait. Oh. Arnold Applebaum owned the mining company like a thousand years ago. Dad said he was a crook who hated the unions, but we did get a library. That got turned into apartments. Hmm. Arnold Applebaum, indeed. Okay, we'll go back. We'll go back and talk to him. Oh, I can't go in there. All right, we'll go back. Can I go in here? Nope. <gasps> there he is! Hey, buddy o pal! May Borowski. You could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time, I'm gonna call the cops! Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you have accepted my invitation. What are you doing, anyway? Hunting dusk stars? Oh, that sounds really epic, bro. Let's be curious. What's dusk stars? Wandering stars, the light of which does not come through at night. That's so cool. How does that work? It's a trick of the atmosphere and setting sunlight. Only visible for a few weeks every year in the spring and fall. So lovely. Neato. Want to have a look? Uh, yeah. Excellent. Ooh, I love, uh, he's, so he's one of her old teachers. Holy crap, my eyes. Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez. Ooh. Yeah, that was really bright. The sun is bright. Make you blind. Um, yeah, he's one of her old teachers from high school, and apparently she hated learning, but he made it fun. All right. 
you didn't think to mention this? I just did. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is so cool. Found one. Let me have a look. Ah, yes. Door the murderer. Oh, no. Why Why do you have a constellation for a murderer? <laughs> okay, I'm interested. Door past bear. Door past burn the king's procession on the street. Door was quiet and said nothing, and the king took offense to this. Jeez, so what happened? Burn insulted Dor, Dor's family, Dor's village, and so on, until he was down to the insulting Dor's chickens. <laughs> chickens are kind of awful. Weird, horrible, angry di dinosaurs. They peck each other's eyes out. That is true. They are delicious. They deserve to be delicious. Dor first murdered Bairn's chickens, then his ancestral village. That's messed up. Then his family. Oh, oh my gosh. Imagine being Bairn and then watching, like, everyone you know be murdered and then your family. <laughs> and when he came to Bairn, the king was silent. I'm gonna get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dora a hero? Totally! Like, if you've ever been told you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it's a true story, and real people died. And you should feel terrible. Seriously? <laughs> He's a goofy goober, and I like him. Ooh. I thought maybe that was one. Pretty. Ooh. Ooh. Found one, I think. Let me have a look. Ah, yes. Castus. What's Castus? This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven. And for the gods... And for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that's screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight. Oh, will you never die as well? Never. <laughs> Duffy Castus. Hi! Hi, Aegis. Aegis? I don't remember. Hi, baby! How are you guys? I hope you're having a good Yule. Um, defy Castus gods. Also, will you? The gods in these stories are only stand-ins for things we cannot control. You might say floods, or the cancer, or such. No to all of them. This is fair. I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh, really? They come and go so fast. Ah, oh, he is so cool. I love how great he is. He He's definitely like the kind of professor that you should strive to be if you're gonna teach people. Like, you, you gotta meet them where they're at and try to make it fun and engaging in a way that like really piques their interest. And if you know your students well enough, you can definitely do that with any subject. All right, that was pretty great. We can look again in two days time. Will you be back? Yeah, if I remember. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> I love him. Okay, well, we will remember. 
because every time I go past, I talk to everybody, so. Door. And Castus. Dude, okay, Door is kind of a badass, though. I love him. Alright, let's go down. Hey, meanie boy. I don't remember inviting you up here. Sorry. This is awful familiar of you. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> it's kind of fun to make him angry, though. All right. We need to find B. And we need to find Greg, I think. Um, let's go down here and see if our bud's back with the po poems. Yeah, speak some poetry to me, buddy. Many miners, young and old. Wait, old and young. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> With home and heart and coal and lung. We're taken by the trolley men. Up to the mine and back again. But mudslide, flood, and awful storm have given tunnel fishes no... Hor hor horm? Horm? <laughs> Please stop listening. Ugh, me. Anytime anyone listens to me writing poetry, I'm like, don't listen to this. Don't listen to this. Don't, don't listen to this. <laughs> what did we write about him? Honey, I'm Horm. <laughs> so that's that little guy at the bottom down here. Um, that is the the little guy she has on her laptop. Um, he's just, he's just a little, I think he's a fish guy with a hat. He's super cute. Wait, what's this? I can't believe they've kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because the old people like the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. That is fair. Ugh, I still want to take one. <gasps> Ooh, um, what, what voice did I have for her? It was like really sweet, I think. But she is a friend of our grandpa's, and I asked her to tell me stories. So, let's see if she has some. Oh, hello. Hey, it's May. I remember. Old clock upstairs ain't stopped yet. What did you want to tell me about granddad? Well, I'll only say if you really want to know. Is it scandalous? Oh, I don't think so. I'm old enough that nothing feels scandalous anyway. Is that a thing that happens when you get old? <laughs> Depends on the life you led. Okay, anyway. You got a history of troublemakers in your family. On your daddy's side in particular. Oh? Go back far enough. You good folks that were around the real hard times. When the workers went up against the armies. Oh yeah, I kind of remember something about that. Great, 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 great grandpa or whatever. Might have gotten the number of greats wrong there. Your grandfather and I weren't around for a lot of the violence. That was before our time. Nah, we were around to watch the tide roll out. And? We'll need to talk again another time. I get tired. Oh. Okay. Can I get you anything? I don't have any money. No. I'm just fine, May. We'll talk another time. Okay. See you. Aw, she's such a cutie. Uh, so that voice might change, because I, I never remember. I just remember she was kind of sweet. All right. Uh-oh, it's Aunt Mall Cop. Should we? Yeah, let's join. Because of this mur because this mural is of historical note, Molly. What do we know? Well, sometime overnight, someone used bolt cutters on the gate and came down here. What did they use? A paint roller? Looks to be. Says they intend to like to nuke po nuke Poss? I don't know. I think it's likely some kid. Saw one of the old Nuke Possum Springs tags from back when, and got bored halfway through writing it. We need to treat this as a terrorist action. 
I'm sorry? This mural is of historical note. All right, well, I'll round up any terrorists I see. Round up any dirtbag teens or vagrants that have been hanging around town. Check out by the abandoned food donkey. They come off the train there. Already on it. Molly. Yeah? Find whoever did this. Okay. I want to see them hang. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa there, old boy. I think at most they just have get a fine and some jail time. This was of historical note. Without this, I don't know if there's a reason to keep this place open. Yeah, Kathleen, Kathleen, we all know what you think. What? Do you think I wanted this? It's not like any of you had ideas for this place. Oh, Kathleen wants to move in. Kathleen, we are not going to put a rest. I don't know what he said. It's just wasted space. <laughs> and they're down here anyway at Charlie Side News every day. We are not putting our elderly in a hole. Yeah, Colleen. Least if we're closed, least if we closed it, I wouldn't have to keep an eye on this place. Thank you, Molly. That's helpful. If you're all done, I got things to do. Wait, Aunt Malkop. Wait. Hello? Amazing to think these things used to run. Oh, sorry, wrong voice. Amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here, too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. It's kind of cool still, bro. Also, I have a feeling it was these kids. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely the kids. You could fix that. Just ask some... There's creative people all around in this town. You could just ask someone to come in and clean it up. Alright, let's see what these guys have to say. How about them smelters? Kick some blue bear ass last night. Good game, good game. Gonna be a hell of a season, bud. <laughs> it's always those... those guys. Hey, Jeremy? Jeremy Wharton? No one calls me that. A uh, germ, right? Germ warfare. <laughs> oh, that stuck, huh? Yep. That's an okay name. Your name is May. Yep. That's an okay name. Okay. <laughs> I love germ. You were like a year behind me, right? Two years. So, you're fresh out, huh? I hang out with Greg sometimes. We ride bikes. I'm pretty good at it. Okay. What? I saw a rabbit possum the other day. Really? Where? It was crawling across the road. Had it been hit by a car? No, nah, just rabbit. What happened to it? Got hit by a car. Wow. <laughs> what a great conversation. I I love it. Let's do it again sometime, bud. Oh, it's not done. It was like a poem. Okay. See you later, germ. Germ warfare. Hi, Vivid. Welcome back. I hope work's going well tonight. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go talk to our bestie. Gotta go see our our pal, our famio pal boy. Hey, well, look who it is. Yep, alive for another day. How are you feeling? I was feeling pretty bad, but I've been across town, and I don't know that helped. Fresh air, or as fresh as it gets around here. Delicious. So what's up? Hmm. We gonna head out to band practice? <gasps> yeah, band practice! 
<laughs> Let's go. Oh, wait. I don't know why I'm so excited because I can't do this. Eh, we're going to try anyway. Is somebody going to say something or is it going to stand here awkwardly? Okay. I'm going to talk to Germ first. Practice. Yes. I crashed my bike once and a broken spoke went through my leg. Jeez. It was kind of cool. Oh, yeah. I can see that. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Sorry. The characters in this game are fantastic. I feel like each one of them has, like, their, their own unique quirks. Like, her bestie is totally, like, a rocker dude. Like, he's chill and... He, like, wiggles his arms and is, like, super excited every time he sees her. Uh, Germ, I I don't know what's up with him, but he just, he's super awkward, and I, I love it. I love it. Uh, B, her mom died of cancer, and she's definitely in, like, in that whole, like, dark phase, you know, like, I just want to be brooding. And then Angus is a huge sweetheart. I love him. I love all of the characters. I really do. Even her parents are just such sweethearts. All right, let's talk to B. B doesn't want to talk. So, uh, when are we starting? Ask Greg. He usually he's usually what's holding us up or making us go faster. All purpose, Greg. <laughs> Unto every time, a Greg. Alrighty, Greg. Greg is our bestie. Let's talk to Greg. Alright, kids. I gotta head out soon. Oh. Wait, that was Angus. <sighs> Alright, kids. I gotta head out soon. Where are you going? Family stuff. Oh. Okay. Just for a night. Okay. We doing this? Yeah, let's do this. Wait, I don't know the song. Like, at all. And I barely remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. Zero self-confidence, huh? No, I just don't know the song. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. You stupid jerks. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the with these. Um, we'll see how it goes. Oh god. Weird autumn. fine everything is cool don't worry about it at all everything is gonna be just fine this sounds like awful ah, blah, blah. oh once I mess one up it's all <laughs> it's all over no please please I wish that I could rebind these. No, no, please! <laughs> you don't understand! My fingers! They want to do the right thing, they just don't know how! <laughs> please! <laughs> oh, okay. That was horrible. <sighs> wow, May, that was uh, a <laughs> pretty bad, is what it was. I literally do not know the song. Poor May. Weird autumn. 
inexcusable. Oh, oh no, we're never gonna get there. Oh, okay, so we are filling in all of the empty spaces. Okay. <sighs> do you wanna do something tonight? Uh, I promise it'll be an improvement on last night. Dude, anything would be an improvement on last night, B. May. Oh, you absolutely forgot. You forgot? <laughs> you forgot about her mom dying. You threw up on everyone. You, oh, oh, it was awful. Oh, what were you thinking of doing? Uh, hmm. Wanna go to the mall? The mall. Yeah, Fort Lucen. Fort Lucen? Like we did when we were kids. When's the last time you were at the Fort Lucen Mall? I don't know, five years ago? Yeah. Um, what? You know what? Yeah, let's go. Great! Yep, great. I promise, it'll be great. Okay, we sure we're doing this? Yeah, let's go mauling. Great. All right, let's go. <sighs> Glad I didn't puke in here. Me too. Maybe I just never drink again. Or maybe you just take it easy next time. I don't know if I do moderation well. Listen, that's an excuse, okay? Because you can learn, first of all. I'm playing you, you can definitely learn. I could see that. I think the term is risk-taking behavior. Are you seeing someone about this? Hanging out with you is working pretty well tonight. No pressure. <sighs> I should be getting paid by the hour. I got gum. I'm gonna turn on the radio now. Old Gods of the Fort Lucen Mall. Hmm. All right, drink break. Everybody pause what you're doing and get a drink. You need to make sure that you stay. <laughs> Liquidated? <laughs> What, uh, uh, my brain stopped working, so, you know what I mean, but, uh, yeah, it's really important, it's really dry, it's winter, you gotta make sure you're keeping your fluids up. Alright. Fort Lucene! Or Lucen, I don't know how, uh, whatever. Oh, my god. Yep. What the hell happened? Um, the internet. We had the internet when we used to come here. What happened to the carousel? Sold it, I guess. <clears throat> who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. What happened to the bookstore? Also the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm gonna make a sign that says the internet and hold it up until you're done asking. That's fair. Um, let me check something really quick. Um, is the webcam, oops. in a good place. Maybe we should put the webcam like up here. There we go. Uh, and it might be a little big. Make it a little smaller. Okay. Oof. Okay. That should work. Okay. Let's see what this says. What happened to Internet. Yeah, we did ask that like 
five times already. And yet, Dollar Empire is still here. I think this is one thing the internet can't compete with. I used to go in here when I was a kid. You could get an eraser for a dollar. A pencil for a dollar. That actually doesn't sound like a good deal. Oh god, you're right. <laughs> no, that's not a great deal, bro. You're rev you revolution. Oh my god. The Urev is still here. <laughs> yeah, this old thing. I can feel the edginess from here. I'm just looking in there makes me feel old. We are so gonna do this. There is no way I'm going in there. And then she did. <laughs> yeah! Oh, for God's sake. Holy crap. I'm 14 again! Yeah, it's pretty nuts in here. Hey, isn't that... Shut up. Let's talk to him. Hey, ladies. Hello, lady. Just so you know, we have 20% off select t-shirts. Oh, t-shirts. Yep. Thanks a lot. Okay. Catch you later. All right. It's so awkward talking to anyone in this game. <laughs> nice. Dead Party Boys stickers in 2017. I think they're back in. Hmm, that's cool. I bet you listen to them. Um, yeah, they're good. Yeah, if you're 30 years old and sad. I'm getting there. Me too. Hmm. Whoa. Haven't seen belt buckles in a while. At least not fashionable ones. Mike at the shop has one with a rattlesnake diving in a semi a semi truck. Okay, that's kinda cool. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do what? Cover me. I'm gonna grab one. No, May What? No. Shh. You are not doing this. Oh my god. So, you're really gonna do this? Oh, no, no, no. Ah, shh. Be cool. This isn't my first time doing crimes. <laughs> god, she's such a little brat. What other crimes have you done? Shoplifting. Vandalism. Piracy. Shoplifting again now. Anyway, I just do the easy crimes. How is this stupid idea easy? Our eyes evolved to notice movement. Like dinosaurs? If the dinosaurs are moving. Okay, we need full concentration. Wait, that's not. Never mind. So long as you're perfectly still when the clerk is watching. Like, you're gonna freeze when she looks over? Even if you're in the middle of putting it in your pocket. And this is gonna work because... Dinosaurs. Just. Like. Dinosaurs. <laughs> She's crazy! I'm going to pretend to not know you until you're done, okay? This is such a bad idea. What am I even grabbing? What? What am 
my grabbing? What do I have? Sweet. I just I just helped her get away with shoplifting. Okay, are you done? Ah, uh, yeah. Shut up and let's get out of here. Oh my god. No way. She got away with it. I mean. Shit, she got away with it, bro. You can't falter. <laughs> I mean, you can, but like, you can't, you know? She did do what she said she was gonna do. Ah, uh, yeah. So, wheat. Belt buckle I am never, ever, ever going to wear. Rubs against my stomach. <laughs> this is bad, May. You should steal something now. Pardon? Haven't you ever, like, done any crimes? I mean, yeah, I guess. Hasn't everyone? <laughs> you had a, a belt buckle <laughs> that you would never, ever wear, Vivid? It gave you hives. The belt buckle gave you hives? Uh-oh, that's not fun. Well, get back in there, champ. What? No. Beatrice, let me lay this out. One, the security cameras aren't even on in there. Two, then I learned I was allergic to nickel. Oh, that's right, you told me you were allergic to nickel. That's not fun. Okay, anyway, <coughs> Head in the game. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. Three, there is not one mall cup here, as far as I can tell. I don't know. I mean, B, this is an experiment. B, this is an experience. Have it. I'll run interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you and driving away if I get caught. Perfect. Oh my god, no! What a bad influence! Alright, I'm gonna run interference while you do your thing. <laughs> Cue excitement! <laughs> what do you mean? I'm gonna distract the clerk. I can do this. Okay, I will admit that drawing attention is a talent you have. That's true. I am great at crimes! <laughs> but what if I get caught? You won't. I'll just start screaming if I have to. How is that a good idea? Let's go. Okay, but if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. That's like the fifth time she said it. We get it. Join the club. <clears throat> Alright, are you ready to do crimes with me? Because we're about to do some crimes. Wait. We gotta get prepared for this. <laughs> yes, uh, 2017 hot topic, yeah. We're gonna do some crimes together right now. Are you ready? Let's get it. <clears throat> Whew. Hey! Uh-huh. I've got a question. T-shirts are 20% off. Yeah, I saw... I was wondering about something else. Well, Vivid, you say you want to do crime? Well, get get in line because we're in this together now, okay? You're here with me. <laughs> Be gay, do crime. Yeah, I saw. I was wondering about something else. Do I have to control it? No, okay. Okay. The name of the store. Yeah. <laughs> you probably get this question a lot. <laughs> Try me. So, what time do you get off later? Um. Well, we asked about the name of the store, so... But I kind of want to know when they get off, because I want to be like, Yeah, let's hang out. We'll be friends. Um. Well, this one just goes with the flow better, so... So, is it like, you revolution, or like your revolution no i don't like that one we're gonna say what time do you get off later uh are you flirting with me um <laughs> uh 
maybe yes, maybe no. I, I play hard to get, but I do play hard. Man, I have work to do. Crap. So, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna scream for a while. No. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna do that one. Uh, I'm gonna scream for a while. <laughs> security ah! <laughs> okay so we don't have security but I'm calling the cops no don't do that I'll stop what is wrong with you okay I'm done looking let's go okay Liz nice talking to you okay bye now <laughs> see ya Ooh, that was horrible <laughs> She is not smooth <laughs> at all. <laughs> Tries to flirt. <laughs> Q screaming. <laughs> it's literally me if I were trying to flirt. I'd be like, <laughs> oh my God, okay, yeah. I'm gonna scream. All right. <laughs> Why did you do that? You did so well, B. I call the cops on shoplift shoplifters at my own store. This? What did you get? Some kind of necklace thing? Nice, nice! Oh god. Forget it, we're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like, out in open waters now. <sighs> I feel kind of sick. Let's walk it off. Dude, that was so sick, B. I am never one to be like, yeah, go go steal things. Um, you know. But fuck it. Good for them. Wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh my god. I loved her. You know, I was really hoping that B would rub off on May, not the other way around. Like B should be, like, pushing her good morals off on, on May, you know? Like, quietly. Like, in a way of, like, oh, I'd be really proud of you if you did X, Y, Z. Instead of being like, oh, yeah, let's go shoplift. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. I loved her. Did you ever come to the Summer Days thing here? Yeah, it like, squirt people. I still have no idea how they did that. <laughs> I always assumed it was some guy in there with a squirt gun, or one time I saw it knock a guy down. Let's do this one. No, it was totally a fountain. They tricked out, wait, what? To squirt people. That's amazing. <laughs> you know the walkway up there, past the upper food court thing, up in the atrium? The what? The ceiling. The glass part that points up. Yeah? When I was a kid, I thought that's where God lived. Wow. I don't know. I just remember staring at it when I was a kid. Like, eating a burger and trying to see if I could see God. Like, peeking over or something. Looks like they got th some weird hanging art up there now. Want to go up and see? Nah, my knees are killing me from work. But I want to go up and see. Uh, okay, tell you what, you sit here. You up for eating? Yeah, let's eat. Let's eat because maybe her knees will feel better afterwards. I expected more excitement. Mall food court dinner. Oh, what a feeling. See, that wasn't hard. Literally me and my bestie when we go like out to a movie and there's a food court right by the theater that we go to uh, in a mall. And so we'll go over there and get food either before or after the movie. <laughs> and I'm always like super excited because I'm like, oh, yeah, let's get like this. Let's try this, whatever. And he's like, all right. <laughs> Just monotone. <laughs> 
what did you get? You inhaled it before I got a look. Pierogi burger from Smelter Burger. That's just a big pile of carbs and meat, huh? Isn't that what we are? Bones, too. I don't want bones in my burger. <laughs> oh, she's gloomy? What? I don't want bones in my burger either, yeah. Remember when Kathy Domingo pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring here? You know what that was about, right? Wasn't Kathy pregnant with the what's-his-name football guy? <laughs> Ron Boonstra. Ron Boonstra. I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year. I can't speak. Well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year. And Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands. My first touchdowns for my first beautiful firstborn and his mommy, Kathy Damingo. Damingo. That's something. Kathy was in marching band, and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh, yeah. That's the part I know about. That's what set off the whole nose ring situation. I wonder what Kathy's up to now. Well, last year, Ron had this ATV accident. And somehow, Kathy and him got to talking after that. And they got married. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Ron's parents set them up on a double date. A double wide out and riddle. Riddle. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not even trying it again. Since Kathy refused to end up in Possum Springs, Brittle's like 15 minutes away. You know what the worst part of the story is? Cindy having something ripped out of her face? At the time, I was like, God moves things around in the strangest ways to bring two people together. Mm. I don't know if I even believe in God. Same, really. Thinking about this place, the fountain, and the god walkway and stuff. Not knowing how something worked. It used to seem like magic. Now, not knowing means it might be going wrong, and I may not be able to fix it. It helped knowing someone was at the controls, you know. Now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. When I was at school... Yeah? Ah don't even want to talk about it. What happened, anyway? <sighs> you want to run around the mall some more? Uh, there's not much else to run around. We can check out the weird bat art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. I want to run! You run? I'm going to sit here. I'm tired and sad now. Suit yourself. Aw, oh, she's tired and sad. Don't just leave her. Here. Climb in there and spray her with it. Okay. Or don't. I'm glad you two are bonding. That makes me really happy. Oh, hello, random person. Mm -hmm. Music vibes. What a mess. I can't believe this place even has the lights on anymore. Ooh, what's down here? Oh. Let's not leave without our friend. The book rook. I would I would go in the book rook. Let's go upstairs. Can we jump on these? <gasps> oh, this is a bad idea. This is a real bad idea. What's that? <gasps> oh, wow. Is this? <laughs> Too much power! <laughs> Fantastic! Whoa, hey! Yeah! <laughs> oh. There we go. How 
<laughs> I want to get her. Come on. What's the... Oh, it won't let me get her. <laughs> May, I know that's you. Long shot. No. Yeah. <laughs> May, how are you doing that? Oh. Come on, get him. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. I'm going to die. <laughs> She's so cute! <laughs> this is really fun. Okay, okay. Someone's gonna call the cops. <laughs> it's so fun. Yeah, get wrecked, noob. <laughs> Uh-oh. Beatrice Santello. <laughs> Don't give them our names. Beatrice Jones! <laughs> oh, wow. Is that you, God? Yes! It is I, God Stevenson. I didn't know you had a last name. Silence, mortal! Through my fish monster, I have lain waste to your kind. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty magical. Silence! I shan't say it again. You and your good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. <laughs> yeah, we should probably get out of here. <laughs> Before you're arrested. <laughs> oh, she's laughing so much. The cops shall be confused and stuff and beat each other up. For I am God, and I hate cops. Yeah, that's honestly probably true. Okay, okay, get down here. Have a good one, mortal. <laughs> She's so cute. Yay! We did it. Because it's not sticking it to the man. The man isn't going to lose anything here. But she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in the much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever. Return the shit. Okay, okay, I'm going. Yay! That's my B. That is exactly what I was talking about. Hell yeah. So they had a good time. They had some fun. But they're returning it. Uh, as good Samaritans should. Hello? You're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. Here is that shit. We don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault the world is like it is. What? You stole this? You're just a cog in the much bigger machine. To blame you would be like blaming a thing inside a whole thing. So you're returning stolen merchandise. One day, folks like you are going to overthrow the whole thing. What whole thing? The whole thing. We're leaving. Stay strong, you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your own chains. What? Yes, May. May has really gotten into her god complex days. <laughs> and I'm here for it. This place used to be something. I mean, it's still something. Nah, just a big, mostly empty thing. It's a big, mostly empty parking lot. Well, you work with what you have. Let's never come here again. Don't have to convince me. I only came here because you wanted to. Well, Fort Lucene, Lucene, used to be something. Now Fort Lucene's over. Let's go. Let's let it die in peace. Let, let die. I want to drive on the way home. Nope. That's a good choice. Don't let her drive anything of yours. Oh, yay! <laughs> Successful friend date! Let's see what this says. Ha! The bandit queens of the Fort Lucene Mall. 
all hail the big fish. I love it. She got to play God. She stole stuff and then returned it. Sup, Dad? Heard you had a wild time last night. I didn't drink. It works better if you let me accuse you first. Right. Here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. Wow, hold on, let me write that down. It's complicated, I know. What did you do tonight? Went out with B. You have a good time? Yeah, she's kind of, I don't know. Like, she's older. Like, much older. And kind of sad. Well, she's been through a lot. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Oh, would you mind moving the box? Yes! Finally! Ask him to move the boxes! I've been waiting for, like, five days! Hey, Dad. Would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? Well, what have you done for me lately? That's not how relationships work. <laughs> been an excellent daughter, but a credit to the family. Been an excellent daughter? That doesn't count. Well, would you watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Hop up. I'm watching Garbo and Malloy. Yeah, Garbo and Malloy is the TV show that was on at the bus station when we first got to town. Nice. Aw, friend date. It's a, well, family date, I guess. Dad date. So cute. Welcome back, folks. Hell of a show tonight. Say, Malloy. Yes, Scarbo? Ever get that feeling that disaster is right around the corner? Sure do. Right before we start the show every night. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Everyone clap. You, super you superstitious, Garbo? Not anymore. What happened? I've broken every mirror I've ever owned. And now, I'm lucky enough to never have to look at this mug. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, but what about the rest of us? What? <laughs> That's a wappa. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, they're really funny. I enjoy this kind of humor a lot. Coming up next, Garbo and I join a cult. Oh no. Not a cult. That was a great episode, Dad. Thank you for watching with me and letting me be here and join you for some good old Garbo and Malloy. Those top hats on that middle picture are insane. What is up with that? <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> when people are like, you're short. I could just get a top hat that would make me as tall as they are. Or stilts. Stilts would be fun too. Oh, I have to be careful. I get bloody noses like really, really easily in the winter time. I don't know if anyone else here experiences that, but like, ugh, it's so obnoxious. All right, we had a successful friend date after a really unsuccessful party the night before. So I think that is where I'm going to leave it tonight. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate all of the, um, all of the conversation in chat and all of the follows. Um, and I hope you all had a wonderful Yule. Um, hopefully the winter solstice is treating you well and you have some snow if that's what you're into. Um, but thanks for joining and I will, I'll be back soon. I'll see you all soon. So next time, hopefully we'll get right back into it and we'll find out a little bit more um, what's kind of the story and what's going on. There's still someone who's chopping off arms in the community. So we really need to figure out what's going on with that. So, all right, until next time. See you later. <laughs> Bye.